It's the controversial test that has a lot of New Mexicans very upset. Students are slated to start taking this exam next week, and Action 7 News reporter Megan Cruz sat down with the state's public education secretary. In this Only on 7 interview, she tells us why she thinks parents are unnecessarily worried. Students across the state continue to protest the park exam, wanting answers straight from Public Education Secretary Hannah Scandera. Well, Scandera sat down with us. She says she understands why people are upset. Anything new is always challenging and can create a little bit of apprehension. But she says fewer people would be worried about the test if they knew the facts about Park. I can tell you, I received some letters from from some students, and the majority of the letters were based on misinformation. Scandera says the biggest misunderstanding is that if you don't pass the test, you don't advance to the next grade or grade. Graduate. She says that is not the case. First, you get to take the test a second time, but if you still don't pass. And districts get to decide what's called an alternate demonstration of competency, another way to show you're competent and ready. Scandera says she's taken park for herself. She says it's a much better alternative to the SBA exam it's replacing. This is a critical thinking test. It's asking, do our kids know how to critically think and apply their knowledge to real world examples? Parents fear the test is too hard. This mom tried it for herself and it brought her to tears. It's horrible. You know, it's just, I feel like I'm not good enough. And I don't even want to give it to my kids. Scandera says the park will go as planned with students starting Monday. Hundreds of parents have already opted their kids out of taking it. In Santa Fe, Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News. Well, the Albuquerque School Board scheduled a special meeting today to discuss the exam, but had to cancel it because of the weather.